or will have in the future. <coughs> we are going to be friends, Sargon. <sighs> you keep me in here. So many man meats to go and eat out there, big ones and little ones. So many worshippers. There's much more to life than man meats. Uh, Garrix demands destruction. He demands it. And our friend here will teach you how to be destructive. Garrick's always in my head. I see him when I close my eyes. I see him now. I see what he will make of you all. We need to teach <clears throat> him how to hold yourself. Fine. Your mother is not here. If you will not give me lunch that screams, <coughs> he, he breathes on the meat a little bit <laughs> and then goes over and starts gobbling it up. Tearing it apart with his claws. His claws do 1d4 plus... No, 1d3 plus 5 damage at this point. Wow. What the... F what the freak of frack? Has he got power attack? Uh, no, he's got a strength of 20. It's... It's... It's Hulk Cat. It's... <laughs> <laughs> He tears it apart. Uh, yeah, that could have easily been your leg. Thanks, Gunter. He does eight points of damage to the lamb chop. <laughs> ah. Yes. We need to learn to harness and control. Chepping asked, now might be a good time to introduce yourself. Hello there, little one. He drinks a potion. And he walks right in. Fire man meat! No, I don't think I'm going to be the type of man meat that you want. However, you and I are going to spend a lot of time together. Get in my belly! It breathes on Chebagast. Chebagast doesn't flinch as the reddish glow from his, uh, from his protective potion um, protects himself from, from Sargon's uh, uh, breath weapon. Derm's like, hey, like Derm's like wondering what, if, when he was going to get some of those potions. At this point, Shebagast and the others are convincing the dragon to get into a bag. And by convincing, there is there are nets thrown on top of Zargon. Men come in and basically seize Zargon. He has brought enough security plus your own forces that Zargon is being dragged away. Basically kicking and screaming and flaming um, with uh, Chebagast. There are crowds of people that have gathered when they, when they start to realize that a dragon is coming out of uh, the Conclave of Crimson Scale. Hmm. Chebagast just gives you a nod. All right. And um, he and his, uh, and his cadre begin to travel down the road. They, they do put blankets over the dragon and then cover the wagon and are pushing their way past the crowds. Uh, not not huge crowds, just like people stopped when they saw when they saw why don't we uh, out of the conclave. Why don't we send some of our guards with them as well? How many does he have? He said 12? Oh, oh uh, Marty. Mm -hmm. This note that says what religion? I believe it's five-faced god. To whom? Oh, sorry. The um, our 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 personnel for religion, medicine guy. Oh yeah. So um, under religion and medicine for your re for the resources of the, uh, mm -hmm. you guys are basically lumping religion and medicine together, <laughs> as opposed yep. to separately. Um, they are worshippers of the five faced god. Okay, that's good to know. Uh, well, Phineas is the worshipper of the five faced god. Magnus is the worship or Magnus worships. Somebody we're not going to find a priest for, and right. Oshoka doesn't worship hmm. nothing. So, so the priest that you have healing your Ludus is a worshiper of the Five Face God. So mm -hmm. you have a sh you have a shrine to the Five Face God, kind of starting to set up in in your Ludus, basically. Mm, yes, and, okay. Because that was all decided when Phineas was 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 behaving. Got it. So okay. he would have been able to push that. All right. <clears throat> All yeah. right, that that may not go over well with a lot of the gladiators, given that most of them don't worship the five-faced god. 
Yep. Yep. Okay. All right. Feed the dragon. Uh, yes, he's still standing on the chair as they left. He gets down. Yes, yes, Master Ashoka. He just bows his head down. This would be a good time to clean up down there. Yes, I, I, I will. Cl I will scrub, scrub it clean. And he goes off and fetches some cleaning supplies, and then goes and is going to maintain the dragon lair while the dragon is not there. All right, so Phineas doing research of the Displacer Beast, Magnus choosing his gladiators and checking in on them, and Ashoka basically spending the day um, assessing the gladiators and uh, the dragon being picked up is basically all that you guys do this day, two days before now, uh, the, um, the beginning of the spring games. What are you doing? Well... We have to put a little effort into getting um, Pennywise presentable. Yeah. Um, let's get him cleaned up and put a sword in his hand. Get him moving. Get that blood flowing. Get his brain running again. He looks, looks like a sack of potatoes. Okay. So you bring Prentice Pennywise into the light of day. Uh, he is looking... Slowly. Yeah, I'll switch to the... Um, uh, to the conversation map, because I think all of your gladiators are there. Uh, the Prentice Pennywise looks awful. Uh, Magnus, give me a sense motive or a bab check. Okay. Eight. <laughs> okay. You bring him out in the light of day, you take off his chains, at least not like the chains that are attached to his manacles, you stuff, you shove a sword in his hand and he's just standing there and, and like he's almost passing out, standing uh, standing up. What, what, what does he Let's eat? call our doctor over. Hey, okay. you, hey guy who was paying three grand a year to friggin' do whatever. <laughs> right. Do your gerb. <laughs> okay, so this priest says, yeah, has a look over, Prentice Pennywise, this man has been a this man has been, a, he has spent too long in a cell. Um, he has not been eating properly, is what he says. Uh, give me a uh, three, what is what is the total bonus of this healer? Plus three. Three? He's a, plus uh, three. He's a uh, most expensive personnel we have. The facility and the personnel are a total of four. Uh, mm -hmm. So you can roll really four, shrine. four <laughs> D6. Sixteen or three successes. Uh, yeah, three successes. So um, he, I shall be able to help with these wounds here, and make sure that he is fed and well watered by the time that the matches happen. You should have come to me sooner, is what he says. Um, basically, I gave you. Uh, yeah, it's like you needed four, five, or sixes, not three, four, five, or sixes, or whatever. I shall be able to help him by the time he fights. The um, lack of proper diet will have to be rectified over a longer period of time. And that is not anything to be said about, well, his mental condition. A man who has spent so much time in a darkened room alone All right, perhaps um, kind of throw him in, you know, show him that his life will be in danger and perhaps his instincts will kick him in. You know what I mean? I don't think they cascade, Kinta. It's not like you roll a six and you get to roll again. Okay. Uh... So by the time we fight, uh, if you notice near his body on the uh, on the spreadsheet, it's minus two. I'm going to make it a minus one. Your healer is able to do some work in the three days that, or the two days basically he has before uh, before the fighting. Work. Yep. All right. Uh, now, 
Ashoka's going to see what happens when he charmed persons, pen, Princess Pennywise. <laughs> okay. To see if he can basically snap him out of it. <laughs> Got it. We we will use magic to make somebody. <laughs> All right. So you're trying to make him to be your friend. Uh, let's right. see what Prentice Pennywise's will save is. It's plus five. DC twenty. How many of these are you gonna burn this day? So yeah, the, you, you you cast your spells. You stay in there with a the sword in his hands. As a doctor tends to him for a while, like like an hour later, he's trotted back out again, and Ashoka casts a spell on Prentice. Uh, Prentice Pennywise looks up at you. Prentice, how are you doing? I suppose fine now that I've got a proper meal in me. It's it, my the doc the the medicus said that it may take some time to um, for me to keep the solid food down. That's very unfortunate. He agrees with you. We were able to spring a deal to get you out of your previous imprisoned state. Um, although, unfortunately, you're going to need to uh, do some gladiator fighting. Somebody um, was very upset with you. I'm going to die tomorrow, aren't I? Mm. I've heard stories that you're actually quite an accomplished swordsman. Okay. Was, maybe. Well... Old habits die hard. What kind of sword do you use? <laughs> he, um... <laughs> he looks at you? Is it like a rapier or a scimitar or a... A gladius will do. Excellent. Yes, it's... Tomorrow will be the first contest of yours. Um, it, okay, there's this weird, wild-eyed look of fear and in three days, suspicion please. and hope. Yes. Um, You're going to let me fight? Like a, like a true match? Or yes. am I just going to be stampeded to, be, to bits by a bunch of knights or, or fed to lions? No, I was able to convince them that you were un tested and not worthy of such a display, you'll be fighting criminals that should be well below your abilities if the warrior still runs through your veins. How long do I have? Three days to prepare. No, before the end. Well, this... We've got to put on our lion shoes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's shoes that make you lie better. I get it. <laughs> you're doing a little tap dance. You're like, oh, hey, look at my Ooh. feet. <laughs> uh, avoiding the question. Avoiding the question. Uh, if you are able to perform well enough, we should be able to secure your freedom. Give me a bluff check. I am you, lying with you can, power you can, to you can lie. Add, you can add four because he's con you're considered temporarily his friend because of the uh... thirty-nine. He he grabs you by the collar and you notice some guards come in like they were going to beat him for touching you. Are you waving off the guards? No, don't okay, all right. <laughs> like like they were, the they were like, <laughs> they're all coming in to fucking like how dare you touch the the master? Oh yeah, everyone knows he's condemned. Everyone yep. keeps an eye on him, sort of thing. The two guy, the two dukes men even started to pull down their pull down their muskets. <laughs> they're off to the side talking while you're talking yep. to Prentice. He grabs you by the collar, pulls you close. Read him. <laughs> <laughs> freedom freedom he falls to Chicken his knees and starts evil. to cry <laughs> he starts to cry about freedom Ashoka will stand there and let him weep while holding on to his leg freaking <laughs> 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 Jesus pose <laughs> uh. 
Okay, so, so, Sona, while he's sweaty and training, he was grabbing sort of a cup of water and he looked, he glanced over. I could use a good dose of freedom, is what he says. There's some sneers and chuckles from some of the gladiators. Shut up! <laughs> As Magnus, Magnus tells them all to shut the fuck up. <laughs> Fair enough. Um, <clears throat> all right. Um, I'm just going to make some adjustments to his... Uh, to his mental state, he might be able to fight a little bit better. We are going to get a barber or somebody. We're actually going to get somebody who knows what they're doing. What do you mean? Uh, to like, I guess that would be. I guess technically that's, that's our medicine guy. Yeah, the uh, medic. The medic. The medicus check. is basically feeding him. Proper yes. food, getting him hydrated, and uh, and uh, tending to his minor wounds. Kinta said something hilarious. Uh, just <laughs> <laughs> so, don't you want the freedom Pennywise is getting? Yeah, <laughs> you, you don't want that kind of freedom. <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't know. He doesn't know the twisted labyrinthine mind of Ashoka. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um. So. Uh... Make certain that you know he's got weapons and can do some moving, and you know. Yeah, he he eventually does uh, the next day uh, start to train with the Gladius again, and he's pretty good. Are you doing any training matches or like early matches between Prentice? Or are you just gonna let him heal, Magnus? Are you are you putting uh, him under any stress, or are you? Uh... <clears throat> no, I'm gonna give him some just a couple of mock fights. Just like mock fights, just a uh, with me, no nothing lethal. Just okay. Just... Um, all right, so we're gonna do this. Forth. We're gonna do this mock fight using the D6 method. So yep. Prentice Pennywise, right now, after his uh, increased uh, health and his somewhat better morale and attitude, uh, is only effective. Like he's normally a six level dude, he's only effectively a fourth level dude right now. Okay. Oh, cool. um, so. Um, he does do a mock battle with with uh, um, with Magnus six two two four is what I rolled. You're a fourth okay. level barbarian, so I need four d six. Uh oh, <laughs> he wins. Uh, win, push, win, lose, lose. win. Yeah, or, yeah. So he won three. So you've got one die left. He's got. Uh, four dice left. Yep. I, I, okay. Ah! Magnus is able to knock him down one. He's got three deck. He's got three die left. No, it's uh, a tie. That's a tie. It's a push. Oh, it's a, push. a push. Sorry. Yeah. yeah. Oh, oops. Oh. <laughs> How many sixes can you roll? Not enough. Made. All right. So he actually does a flourish at the end, blocking a bunch of your attacks. After like hammering back your blows, um, uh, and he gets in with the gladius, and it's right at Magnus's throat. You notice the guards are all now like standing around with their with their heavy maces out, and then the, then one guard that was on duty at this point is now pointing his musket in the direction yeah. of Magnus. Super, Magnus. Magnus uh, drops his sword. He goes, yep. I told you he's ready. <laughs> okay. Yeah. He he for a brief moment thought about. Cutting Magnus's throat. Um, give me a sense motive, Magnus. Need a lot more Magnus doesn't that, need buddy. sense motive. There's no point in you ever learning that skill. Just, just throwing it out there. <laughs> Sixteen. <laughs> he still hasn't learned that skill. Nope. He would have had you guys had this match with uh, with metal weapons. He, he, you had this match with wooden training weapons. It was a training match. So. Give you a nasty splinter. Yeah, he he just basically he, he basically kind of like gave in to his his fatigue and bent over a little bit. A bunch of the guards rush in and I did well, good for you. You'll do well tomorrow as well. Good job. Okay. Um <clears throat> Magnus uh, I am gonna do some some other training with my guys though. Magnus might have affected the morale of Prentice. Yes, and that I'm, was the purpose. I and didn't I'm also really going plan on to, losing that bad, but... <laughs> yep. I'm also going to reduce the morale of several other guys. 
Drain doesn't have boss. such a high thing about you. Fleas and Bull still love you. Aka Vanu's not impressed any longer. Okay. So that may have had an effect on the morale of other people. Yeah, you, you, you showed the boss get beaten by a chump. <laughs> okay, but Prentice seems to have more confidence now, and you've given him practice swords, and you think you've done as much as you can uh, before prior to his uh, prior to his yeah. fights. Um, all right. Uh, is there anything else uh, you guys want to do the day before? Yeah. Like basically, well, you're the, healing, and you had this match the day before. So, so there were two days that we had with my guys, right? Yep. Uh, I wanted to get. Uh, like a barrel or whatever, like a, a large barrel. Do we, we know what size the creature is or not? Uh, it's at least large. Displacer Beast, it will be as large as uh, like a great cat. Okay, so large. Uh, is it not large? <laughs> Just the, the word great is funny. It's a great cat. Oh, yeah, it's an awesome cat. It's like a but fuck. Is it <laughs> large. It's a proud is kitty. Grand. <laughs> um, so. Yeah, basically Magnus is going to say, like, uh, the point is, remember to flank, don't move around so much around it, it'll likely be able to hit you a bunch of times, get in there and slowly five feet around until you get in the flank. Um, we will cast right before, cast at the beginning of the fight. So the people that are going in are... Uh, sec. Um... Drull, Drain, and Bull. We're gonna have to put one of the. We're gonna have to put Sona as um, sick or something, injured. Drawl, Drain, and Bull. Yep. Okay. So who are you putting on? Sona is being put on the sick list. Sona is being put on sick. Uh, we're not allowed. Uh, we're not going to do range, right? We're going to have to do melee. Are there any? Is there any paperwork or stuff around sick, or is it you just sign up as sick? Uh, yep. Do you, you need to like basically let the commissar of games in his office know that there are stand-ins. Okay. So once he's made his decision, we'll make certain that occurs. We'd also like to get to know the details of the condemned match, if there are any particular rules or things, or if it's just a surprise. Which one? Uh, the... For uh, Prentice. Prentice. Uh, Prent yeah, Pre Prentice is going to be fighting criminals. It'll be a death matches, and he and the uh, the three matches that he will be in are are basically to delight the crowds in con in having condemned criminals uh, fight but also to place him like okay. to get an idea of his skill okay Perfect. okay so when it gets placed on injury reserve I'll make I'll mark that down right now he's on IR <laughs> <laughs> Uh, uh, the fantasy game game <laughs> the game within the game and you've basically are bringing up bull as a gladiator yeah. okay yeah. alright bull is fighting the knight bull no no is... no no uh, well eventually but that's not uh... yeah we have to fight the knight by the end of spring yeah, so oh, yeah that's not, right yeah that's right not, okay. not early Although currently, and just to, I, I, I spouted it out, I don't know if you were listening, uh, Shoka is currently contemplating, he contemplates many things, uh, sacrificing Bull to the Knights because it would be a good fight, and then Magnus would have to make friends with Phineas. <laughs> because right now, he's refusing to make friends with Phineas because he has somebody else healing for him. So. <laughs> ah, the manipulation. No, Magnus, Magnus, uh, uh, Magnus is too busy thinking about the fight to think about he does. He he. It's 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 not an issue. We'll get we'll get around. To it. <laughs> we'll get around to it. Yeah. Okay. 
Um, the eve of the spring games, or the opening of the spring games at the Civic Arena of Vatopol. Uh, the town is abuzz. There are many people from all throughout the duchy and beyond that have come to Vatopol, as this, is, this, this arena is known for its bloody battles and producing the future champions that will one day even fight for the prince and perhaps even, and it's always this constant rumor, uh, of like the most important gladiators may one day be called before the undying emperor himself to do battle. Um, but that's sort of a dream. The other dreams of the gladiators themselves, of course, are freedom and glory and uh, and glory and money in the arena. Um, give me wisdom checks. Damn. <laughs> uh oh. Get those ones out of the way. Get guys. our bet on uh, fourteen. Nine. Fourteen. Uh, yeah, you've currently placed no bets on any of the games. Well, let's go place a bet. Okay, knowledge right. local Vatapol. Um, a perception check to have seen it when you walk by it. Diplomacy. Hey, yo, where do I bet? <laughs> sure. <laughs> um, how does I make bet now? Uh, twenty-two. 22, um, there is this thing called the Great Board, which is this monstrously large uh, placard where they keep track of who fighting, who is fighting who in the games. Uh, it is just north of the Vatapol Civic Arena. That would be a good place to go to see what the fights are uh, and uh, see, make sure that they're accurately reflected. There would be lots of people out there out of curiosity, but there would be lots of people out there to do betting. Now, um, are there purses for these fights? Because typically that would be a thing. Uh, yeah, you will you will earn some money for these fights, uh, basically by by doing a showing. Um, however, the money to be made will be betting. will will be from betting. Um, okay, it'll be approximately like if it, it depends on on your betting ability. Like you have a, a facility called um, gambler. Gambling, uh, stable alignment. No, nope, that is not what I'm looking Facility for. Facility and resources. It's called gambling. We've got one and one. We've got yeah, some so you, guy. So you, you've got some guy who knows some bookies and will take and make bets for you. And he talks. He he ta He checks in with you guys before the great games and and can play some bets. He's going to represent sort of like an automatic way of generating money. But if you guys want to go and find specific fights and think to make specific bets, uh, you can. We want to bet. Three talents on um, Pennywise. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Um, Why not make it a full six? Make it the full six. Okay. Magnus is going to bet one talent on his own. All right. Uh, Pe Pennywise uh, is even odds on his first fight because he's not. Nobody knows who the yep. fuck he is. Yep. So he's, he, perfect. Like okay. So six. So six talents on Pennywise. Six and talents on Pennywise from the Lutus. Magnus and Magnus has one talent on uh, Pennywise. So Magnus is going to bet one talent on Pennywise. Okay. Uh, All right, that's pretty expensive. Um, yeah, we're, we might be adjusting the the friggin' yep. betting odds. Uh, no, no, you can place a bet. I'll place a bet. Magnus will place a bet. Our okay. No, no, it's not that. We're placing it all on one guy. So that is going to take you the entire day to arrange these expensive bets. Um, do you have any skills for each of you as you're trying to place your, your individual expensive bets? Oh, get what's his name to... Just uh, knowledge local, really. Uh, every talking skill and communication skill known to humankind. Okay. And uh, do, you have, do you have any that are maxed out for your level? Uh, yes. Okay, oh. so so <laughs> you're gonna spend the entire day doing this. You're a fourth level character. How many how many talents are you trying to are you trying to bet? Hey, uh, hey okay. Choker, put my talent in for me. Do it. <laughs> Do it. <laughs> well, Ashoka isn't really doing a personal bet. He doesn't have any personal wealth, so he's yeah. just doing the Ludus. So the six, uh, seven with with Magnus, I guess. Okay, so you will need seven successes to make those bets. It'll take me two days to do that, and if I roll well. Okay, uh, so Ashoka's trying to bet seven. Yep. Which is six for the six for the Ludus. 
Yeah, the, the six for the Ludus is... And one for Magnus. Don't we have a bonus from the talent that we have spending on our guy from our uh, what's yeah called? he can he can go off and in in a short period make bets for two talents worth you've got okay. some you've got some so, janky you've got some janky <laughs> so guy in a tavern that you talents. know that will set Give some bets with so a small talents, network yeah. of uh so, yeah of bookies i'll work with that yeah so i'm helping so basically i would be four and the, that the guy is one and a one so that's a total of six, six. right yep yeah so we, we've got six dice for it and we're trying to bet seven okay that's yeah so, two so days. that's that's two days, Hopefully. and is yeah. is are Magnus and and uh, Phineas spending any time doing this themselves? Uh, can I help with oratory? Oh, who's this Phineas guy? He's gonna die for sure. <laughs> Look at him. He sounds you, like a you, loser. You can, uh, you can definitely you can act, you definitely go out and do bets, Magnus. Uh, let me look at your skills. You I, have I a have... little bit of perform oratory. You've got intimidate. You can go out and fucking force people to take your bets. No. <laughs> no, Agnes isn't evil. <laughs> no, I'm not going to do that. But right. um, no, so I Mag don't think I Magnus is being that. a nice guy, and nice guys get eaten up in this world. So you have four dice, but you're at a disadvantage. So five six. Yeah, you need five or sixes to to win. And how much are you betting? I think he's betting one. Is what I heard. I'm betting one, but I gave my money to uh, what's his name? Ashoka. So you're not. Spending anything, so he's not helping. No, 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 no. I was selling an oratory wood, but I, I don't think it. Really Phineas, does. are you placing any bets aside from the the uh, um, the Ludus bets? No, the Ludus bets. Okay. All right. So Ashoka and and this 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 low level functionary and some basic contacts into into like different bookies and you're spreading out you're spreading out the bets. You're betting on the on the first fight for Prentice. Is that effectively what you're doing? Yep. Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> uh, the second he has two and a three, two three fights total, correct? Yep. All right. Um, are the odds for those other two fights published? No, because they because they haven't seen the first one yet. All right. Well, then we'll bet on that. We'll bet on the first. He'll win the first one, and then we'll see what we do from there. Got it. Okay. How do gnomes? Uh, no. All right, and then I don't think we're gonna bet on the. Uh, the displacer beast fight because that one that that could that could go either yeah, way. You're just gonna get <laughs> yeah. you're gonna get a purse or some funds or something like there yeah. are rewards and it, and it and it's not well defined in this contract you made with the the guild. Um, yeah. Yes, the, the yes the chaos people don't do. He also gave us cool presents for showing up. So I mean, yep. Yeah. 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 It's all good. Okay. Um, uh, does the stream want to make any bets? <laughs> I don't know what the fuck, how the fuck that works. <laughs> hey, you, know what, you know what would be funny? Give, give, give I, I don't know. the bet. They can buy a hero point for like, like 50 grand or something. But they, they, it that needs be to so be awesome. value in their wealth, which we have a value in the wealth, right? <laughs> right, right. So Let's start them off with like two talents. I asked the question or? without actually working this out ahead of time. Uh... You, you think about it first. What, <laughs> yeah, what did right. I just do? What did I just oh, do? Oh, it's going to be that CSGO betting scam <laughs> thing that happened. In I bet 1,000 imaginary <laughs> schmeckles. Got it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but people who have hero points could bet hero points. That might be a oh. thing. Hmm. Uh, that's really... Hmm. Let me think about. Let me. Let me. Let me. Now that I, the thought has crossed my mind, uh, let me think about how that would work. Um, you could also make it. Uh, what's the um, the thing where you would get the extra d6 that the, the mythic characters do? Uh, the mythic. The surge? mythic point. Surge. So you could have surge, which would be a lower value commodity. That people could have surges that they could then convert into hero points with enough surges. <laughs> I bet my follow. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> <laughs> no, we're not. De we're not. We're definitely not betting with money or bits or anything like that. Uh, that, yeah, that, no, no, that no. stuff is silly. Uh, let me think about how we would get the stream involved with betting on betting on fights in in game in game imaginary funzy stuff. Right. Exactly. Um, but I, no may, I may not do it right now, but the thought, on those, the thought on is now. Matches. The thought is now had. <laughs> well, no. So the, the the stream would then use their hero points or villain points to affect the matches that they want to. But the best you'll ever get out of a match is a hero point, and you're <laughs> <laughs> like, uh, they're, no, they're, they're, they're what if might... they have two hero yep. points and they bet them. Yep. 
maybe a reroll for good or evil, or maybe the stream has XP to to like to the least spend on things. Uh, <laughs> I'm not gonna solve it right now, but I, th I think that is an interesting thing that will work. I, I, cool. I, I think surges are like a lower level hero point, so they can start using them more frequently. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I think okay. That's the all right, for, for now, uh, I need uh, basically seven successes with two days of work between you and um, uh, and this guy. We'll say that Ashoka has the right <laughs> skills to do this, although he does he's not like profession bookie or anything like that. So no, nope, but he's uh, max ranks diplomacy, disguise, perception, sense motive, sleight of hand, stealth. <laughs> uh, all right, so I'll give Ashoka and... advantage on his rolls. Separate them from the dude's rolls. Okay. Uh, day one, dude pants gets a success. Okay. Ashoka, day one, has a success. All right. Everybody's like, no, Snake Man, I'm no, not no, taking no, your filthy no, snake No, a, a lot of people are <laughs> don't know who you are. Right. I'm showing up going... I want to bet eighty thousand dollars on red. <laughs> and they're like, "No, no." Uh, how about forty thousand dollars? Is that okay? <laughs> and, and then you managed to find a few that took your thousand dollar bets, right? <laughs> right, exactly. Yeah. Okay. Let's... <laughs> Next day. All right. Next day, uh, boy pants does one. One. That's three so far. And Ashoka. Now that everybody's gotten over the whole, you're green. Uh, gets three, three? successes. Okay, so That's are six. you telling ah. Magnus that he his bet couldn't happen, or is Magnus's personal bet gonna gonna be higher than Ludus's bet? Like who's who's six out of set? Who is the odd the odd talent out basically? <laughs> Fuck, uh, <laughs> Magnus's is out. <laughs> yeah, That's fine. That's All right. Fine. So Magnus, uh, Ashoka comes back. Uh, Ashoka hand. is <laughs> contemplating seeing if Magnus actually knows how to count. Just get, coming back and just giving him his talent in the form of coins and seeing if he, he realizes. <laughs> Come here. <laughs> <laughs> the edition has changed. <laughs> I, I, I'm honestly just like half surprised you're giving it back to him. Just saying, yeah, yeah, I, I, I put it. And then when, when everything's done, oh, you lost. I thought you were betting on against. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, the the so big funny. scary guy that can kill me in two swings, I respect a little bit more than that. It's the risk reward part of it. That night we're gonna that night we're gonna chat. Okay, the night As before a... uh night before the match. Yeah. Okay. Is it the Civic Arena where we're gonna be fighting? Yep. Cool. And when I say we, I mean you. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh Magnus, yes. um, Unfortunately, there were some difficulties in finding someone to take your bet. Uh, they took Fine. issue with you. They took issue with it being placed under an individual's name, um, specifically without the runner being there and you being unknown. Um, perhaps in the future you could bet those under the Ludis. <laughs> Yeah, I will see. That's that's fine. That's fine. I appreciate your effort. It's got to hide. Um, listen, I guess this is while we're eating. Sure. We've got to get things straightened out between the three of us here. Our necks are on the line for everything here succeeding. Whatever pass were, we got to get over them. Phineas, I hate your bird. But it's your bird. I respect that. Fine. Just keep it away when I'm drunk. I... Joker, He's you know right. I don't trust you. <laughs> but Why I showed you a you have sign. any reason not to trust me? I showed you a sign. I have been nothing but a gentleman. Just shut up. You. <laughs> <laughs> I showed you a sign of trust. And I gave you my money. You gave it back. It's good. But we have to trust each other. Because we're the only ones going to look after each other. Everybody outside wants us to lose and die. Only way we all succeed if we, we all succeed. You know what I mean? Hmm? I'm sorry. Yeah, I was cheers. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, actually, I do have oratory. I, I don't know if I even bother using that, but uh, why not, Marty? Sure. Is it... uh, it's not even good. But Shoku uh... will make a bluff check to make it seem like he appreciated the work. 
words that were Fourteen. <laughs> Fourteen. Uh, Thirty-four is the bluff. Yeah, yes, you are yes, bored. Magnus, of course. We should yeah, work together as a he team. He hugs He's like, yeah, yeah, dog. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Phineas, you want to come in here? It's better. Trust me. F- Phineas has been reading a book the entire time. I- okay, sorry, he's good, too. You, <laughs> uh, you, you were saying something about money? What? We have what? to work together is what I'm saying here. Trust each other. We have no one else to trust. Why would I trust you at the forge? I don't want you doing forging anything. Or with magic. We're not working together. We each have an individual thing to do. Just do it. And we should all do it together. That's what I'm saying, Phineas. Come on. No, no. You're not helping me with potions and things. You're a gronk. Can you explain it to him, Snake Man? You're a piece of meat who swings heavy things. Yeah, and I need to be doing really well, and I need you to help me. I need him to help me. And I will help you wherever you need me to help you. That's what I'm saying. All you need to do is tell me what you want to swing at them, and I'll make it. He's, in his own way, trying to describe specialization and communities, um, and how specialization helps a community become more advanced. What the fuck do you do again? (laughs) I talk. Well, congratulations. Get the snake a medal. He goes back to his book, like... (laughs) Okay. Um... Phineas is so wonderful. (laughs) (laughs) Okay. All right, so uh, Phineas and uh, I'm assuming Ashoka are going to go watch the games. Uh, Ashoka's yeah. going. Okay. Um, you uh, realize Phineas. that your Ludus has, like, nosebleed seats. You haven't spent any money on on finding good seats in the arena. Uh, are, are, are is that allowed? a... Uh, sorry, is this a, a, a uh, Ludus facility? Uh, let's see. Security, Master's Villa, Stable. I think it should be... Uh, do we have good seats at the arena? <laughs> so we'll call it uh, Civic Arena <laughs> Seating. Um, I guess you could spend crazy oh. amounts of money to have your own your own uh, box your, your and own then box. Yeah, and then the personnel would be the scalper. That. Yep. So I'm going to give so you a I... personnel of one and facility of one to start out with for free. Okay. This is this was a gift from um, this was a gift from um, Qued. And your master, like it came with establishing the Ludus, but you guys are basically sent up in the most rowdy section with pushy, loud, um, drunken, uh, uh, half-clothed. Uh, hold on, hold on a sec. <laughs> before, 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 this happens, yes. before this happens, yes. Before this happens, Magnus needs. If Phineas, I need a few things from you. Uh, actually, I wanted to know if, as masters, we're allowed where the gladiators prepare or whatever. Uh, you can go down into the, into the, um, uh, into the wings or the, uh, the gladiator area. Um, your guards are definitely allowed to go down there because they're the ones who are escorting your slave no, gladiators F- down there. Phineas has complete trust in the Imperium guards to protect him from this riffraff. Yep. These would be more of the commissar's guards, although there are a lot of Imperial guards here today <coughs> because there are some very important people. Uh, in the crowd today. Oh, uh, just so Mark is aware. Uh, for the the local religious influence within the Ludus, we used a five-faced god guy. Okay. Your just Medicus to... is a priest, a minor priest of the five-faced god, and he's slowly okay. setting up a shrine there. Um, the soldiers may not like it too much, or your gladiators may not like it too much. Um, so you could go down into the, uh, uh, into the gladiatorial, um, uh, into the blood veins, if you will, um, which is a good name for it. We'll call it the Blood Veins. He's got a bunch of infusions. He's going to trust Magnus to hand out as he sees fit. Okay. Ooh. Thank you. You prepared them already. Awesome. So that morning you gave Magnus a bunch of your infusions? Yes. Cool. I will if them if they're like a whole bunch of disguise self, I swear to God. <laughs> <laughs> disguise self as a halfling in a chicken suit. <laughs> what is this? <laughs> <laughs> the cat balls him. Ah! This guy his mouse. I, I can use a second level for a first level extract. Uh, yes. Okay. 
yeah, yeah. So he'll hand you four cure late wounds. Oh, sorry, three cure late wounds. Yeah. Disguise poultry. <laughs> yeah. So uh, Magnus is spending this time fighting. Yeah. Phineas is spending an this... expeditious retreat, uh, retreat, and two yeah, shields. Have shields with yeah. Okay. Two two shields. Okay. Um, this is a. Phineas, a one for, for the five expedition. days of games, are you just a spectator? Shield. Uh, he doesn't even spectate. He just kind of waits in the wings. Kind of. He doesn't. He doesn't enjoy the games. Yep. He's just he's just there because it's his job. Okay, so I'll just call it admin. <laughs> yeah, admin is fair. Sona is on injury reserve. He, uh, you guys don't have seats for other people. That's the problem. You couldn't bring guests to the games at this point. Um, Gee, thanks, guys. Um, yeah, we we got to. Sona's on injury that. reserve. He's technically on injury reserve, but what is Sona actually doing while he's uh, uh, singing? Uh, Sona is moraling. Okay, so basically he's yeah, taking yeah, yeah. part in your entertainment. Mm -hmm. um, so, so sorry, um, Mark, it was two shield, two cure light, and what? No, two shield, yeah. three cure light. Okay. Draw is fighting, retreat. drain is fighting, apprentice is fighting. And, and an expeditious retreat. Bull is, what is G? Fighting? Yeah. yeah. Fleas is training, I'm assuming? Yeah, fleas is training to level. Train to level. Actually, no. Scratch the expeditious retreat. I'll, I'll throw you a long arm. Thank you. Thank you. Aka is uh, recovering. Uh, yeah, Aka is going through recovery. Normally, I would provide a true strike. However, the uh, displacer beast is. Um, it won't help against that as much. All right. True strike automatically bypass the display. Okay. Ball. What's that? Doesn't True Strike automatically just bypass I don't, displacement? I don't believe so. Doesn't it just give you a tw plus 20 to hit? I think it also gives you the automatic bypass of the things. I, I don't think it does, because that's way too powerful for we, a spell. We don't know. <laughs> says the guy sa Says the guy who loves mirror images, <laughs> which is way BP for uh, a second level spell. Yeah, so uh, additionally, you're not affected by mischance uh, that applies to attackers trying to strike a concealed target. Okay, so it's concealment. Yeah, this it's displacement. So, if it's okay. a 50, if displacement's fifty percent concealment, then it wouldn't. Then yeah. Does okay. Drow have uh, Vanu spouse? is training or resting? What is he doing? Uh, Vanu is. Uh, How many texts? Give me one have? second. Let me let me check oh. what uh, Vanu has. Yep. Uh, Vanu is a second level slayer. Uh, what's his ability score total? You know what? I kind of expect there's a lot of gear that has to be carried. <laughs> uh, his ability scores would be an 83. Holy crap. So he can train one ability score, which would probably be strength. Uh, what is a second level dude? Uh, I think we... And we've only got training of like two without uh, Boyo. Uh, we've got training of three. Um... We'll put him on training. We'll do. We'll put one dice against his his strength. We'll eventually get his strength up. Okay. All right. So we've got we've got everyone's activity in the first five days of the game, uh, kind of kind of spread out. You're either doing one thing or another predominantly. Um, so that's cool. Uh, um, where was uh, Ashoka being placed in that? Betting. I think it was, I was betting. Yeah, because this one I had to. If the game were gambling. Yep. Um, all right. So. Um, yeah, so Phineas and uh, Ashoka uh, arrive at the games early enough to, to see the, the opening celebration. There are soldiers that, that are returning from the field that come marching on to the, uh, onto the sands of the arena of, of Vatopol. Um, you learn that somebody by the name of Commander Taman Valens uh, has returned to Vatopol. He is the local commander uh, who reports directly to the Duke who is in charge of all the all the imperial soldiers in the duchy? He has been oh. fighting. He's been a fighting a war against quote unquote northern aggression. That means Ahmed, the uh, the, the what's his race? Oh, uh, the Corsicans. Corsicans. 
Speaking yeah, the, of Magnus's... There, there is a vast forested tundra area to the north. Uh, um, uh, 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 Magnus's people are kind of like to the north and far uh, and far uh, east. Um, the duchy still has problems with, with uh, the locals just north of the duchy. Oh, not the Magni. No, not 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 Magnus's people. <laughs> Magnus's people are like the furthest from you can be on this continent as well from the Imperial City. So that's like way way. <laughs> yes, they are. They are a significant problem that will one day be dealt with, um, swiftly and finally. However, there are some local concerns. Yes. So apparently, he has lots of slaves who are northern barbarians of all mixture of tribes, but they're just being called northern barbarians. And his hundred troops or so basically march triumphantly into the, into the civic arena of Vatapol to uh, show off the 20 or 40 so captives that are going to meet their doom for the delight of the crowds in the civic arena. You guys aren't in the inner circles enough yet to gain money by putting up gladiators to risk against these captive soldiers. You didn't know that this was happening. This is just something that uh, you made other arrangements instead. Um, there is sort of a demoralizing speech by Lady Savette Havel the Gavel, who is a, uh, a baroness of, of small importance in Vatapol. Of course, she... Um, she basically uses her opening speech to berate how the people of Vatapol are doomed in the in the name of the five faced god if they don't turn from their uh, if they don't turn from their heretical ways. She you sounds are... like a lovely dinner guest. <laughs> <laughs> you disbelievers! All of you will rot in the end. Know that if you do not turn. To the five-faced God that loves us all. If you turn your back on him, he will know. He is always watching. By his holy name, the Pentagrammaton, you know this. You know. And there's some boos that start out from the crowd. <laughs> <laughs> A show a golf clap. Yep. <laughs> you notice the commissar reaches in. It, it, it's, it apparently is a thing because people like booing her, so they just let her go up and go on her rants, and then people boo her, and it, it's just a thing. There are people laughing. Team building exercise. Uh, it is apparently a crowd team building exercise as they get their <laughs> they get their opening rant from Lady Savette Havel, who has completely drank the the Kool Aid of the Imperium. Not that the Imperium is all that bad. The Commissar basically takes this stick. It's like the talking stick. It's like your voice is projected when you have this talking stick in hand. You could actually see the, the sonic waves coming off the top of the stick while, she, while she's yelling and spitting and, and stopping to adjust her glasses and mutter, mutter to people beside her. She's not, she's not a really great speaker, although you could only imagine that, you know, talking down to slaves might be more appropriate to her tone. Phineas, can you at some point make us one of those um i suppose is it a rod or is it a yeah give me a spellcraft all right i believe it's awesome is what it is but it is yeah. also like <laughs> yeah it's quite awesome I don't it's one of those things that it's like why aren't you in the core book <laughs> yeah. i think it's plus 12 and i'm sorry uh, let's check my spellcraft. Fifteen. There we go. Twenty-eight. All right. It's not ghost sound because ghost sound doesn't mimic speech. It's not vocal alteration because that just changes the uh, um, uh, the um, the way that you sound. Um, there's probably some sort of vocal ampl amplification. spell it sounds it's this this sounds like a bard like a bard spell um let me see dragon Maybe voice shout is the core spell for it or something yeah a second level bard spell is dragon voice you're kind of looking in the realm of a second level bard spell uh 
to to amplify your voice uh, louder so that it can be seen. Perhaps uh, it'll take some research, though. It's not a coarse bell exactly, or you may need to know shout to then boil it down into a, a smaller thing and kind of make it continuous. Uh, but you have some ideas on how you'd proceed. Uh, the the thing is definitely acting like a rod though, because you're pretty sure that everyone up there who's grabbing this thing isn't a spellcaster. Yeah. So craft rod is an obvious uh, is an obvious um, prerequisite. I, I cannot cr uh, haven't mastered crafting rods just yet, but it will come. Close. And here, to remind you of where your allegiance should lie in the private moments of prayer in your house, and where your tithing should go, Archbishop Gostus Cantamber of the Three Towers of Faith shall say a few words. And Does she this accidentally... guy get booed, or is people more uh, reverent than this guy? Nope, there are select parts of the crowd that are clapping. Others just remain silent. He clears his throat, of course, while holding on to the rod, so everyone gets to hear him clearing his throat. Okay, I just zoomed in on Lady uh, Lady Hissavet, uh Havel. Just, I just first I saw the mini. Yep, it's a good one. <laughs> He raises his hands, and you notice that a bunch of priests, kind of in a lower galley, or a lower um, um, uh, area below him, begin to chant. Zahua, Zehue, Zohohu, Zihue, Zaohi. We are gathered here in this holy city in honor of the house of the five-faced god and he with five faces who inhabits it upon this blessed ground where those who have been judged shall give upon their lives to his honor our lord he of five faces Zahua. He who guides us when we are lost. Zehoe. He who protects us when we are weak. Zohohu. Who bolsters our collective strength. Zihue. Who admonishes the wicked. Zahohi. And rewards the faithful. For these divine gifts we give our praise. And we, the chosen people, incant his name, so that he of the five faces may see and hear and touch and know and remember our good works. Let no other god stand before him. Just as he commandeth, no other people stand before us. By the holy pentagrammaton, we submit ourselves and give thanks on this opening day of Gladiatoria. The chanting continues. It seems to be the same set of five ways of describing or, or calling out uh, the name of the five-faced god. Um, give me knowledge religion, if you have it. Sure. Int check. I don't know. It's like 11. I mean, it's yeah, they, they, it's a bunch of gibbery, <laughs> gibbery, gibbery <laughs> that they use. <laughs> sounds like to go through the new gender pronoun stuff. Yeah, Z-O-A-I-O. Uh, no, this, uh, this, this is the name of the five-faced god, and there are many ways to pronounce the pentagrammaton. Oh, it's, okay. is it all the combinations of those letters? They went through the accepted yeah. ways of pronouncing the pentagrammaton. Marty, Marty, is it, a, is it some sort of word puzzle, like an anagram, or some sort of other thing that I could use I, to decipher some deeper meaning into what that, the fact is called? I don't know, before? but the Archbishop of Vatapol has <laughs> blessed the, uh, the gladiatorial games in the name of the Five-Phase God. 
because just as he commandeth, no other people may stand before us. Us, of course, he means Imperials. Um, we do have a different chant. F T F F G. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there's there, there's nobody in the arena that is chanting uh, "fuck the five days God" at this point. There are some <laughs> clapping and cheering as he waves he, as he waves this special looking stick above them all. Uh, as as uh, as um, 